Tom of Seminole Nation, present here on behalf of the Native Youth Sexual Health Network, and I am speaking for the Global Indigenous Youth Caucus. We, the members of the GIYC, recognize the economic and social implications of the work put forward at the annual sessions of the UNPFII and the dialogue to enact recommendations throughout UN agencies and member states. We realize the urgent need to address the gaps where you should have a sustainable voice within all areas of each process. We assert that Indigenous youth are provided access to all organizational matters to provide insight and recommendations, UN agencies and member states. We recognize the, valid the validity of a holistic approach to this work, engaging in research but also the implementation of cultural protocols throughout each process. This includes accessibility to the fiduciary support needed for this inclusion. Within the 2022 UNPFII report, within all recommendations provided, the youth were not included. The voice of the youth is warranted, valued, and needed. Communication throughout these venues should provide safe space for all participants and include cultural safety for all staff to expand knowledge and understanding of the participants. We recommend the recognition of subconscious colonial mindsets, microaggressions, and the lack thereof of best practices and engagement. We must unlearn these practices together and put our best foot forward, building a circle of strength, unifying in our common goals, and raising up our individual strengths, leaning on traditional ancestral knowledge. The permanent forum must come up with solutions that allow for accessibility for all participants, such as virtual participation and special visas, ensuring safety and implementing another visa system that provides that flexibility. Furthermore, the GIYC reaffirms that we are a recognized working caucus within the permanent forum. The organizational memory of the permanent forum must provide for a cohesive understanding of prior recommendations and insertions. The permanent co-chairs need to be reminded of the history and perhaps a document can be created to give to new sitting members as a reminder. GIYC recommends direct action and sustainable dialogue to make proactive change. Water is life. The GIYC asserts that the UN agencies, member states, and all supportive organizations approach the protection of water from a holistic standpoint, encompassing all of our water relatives. We recognize the trauma inflicted upon our water relatives through habitat displacement in order to create renewal energy resources. Water and all the creation within that water are a priority for protection, not colonialism, pollution, and extractive industries. This type of violence is unacceptable. The GIYC recommends to address the pre-existing inequalities and gaps in social protection. We implore you to instill application and policies that ensure that no one is left behind within the 2030 agenda, regardless of their status as developed, sovereign, or recognized nations. Hakupai.